Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mike K. A week ago on the 24th of May of this blessed year 2023, a terrestrial rains in Sierra Leone's capital Freetown fell the centuries old country tree, which is a national treasure whose loss has left a big gap in people's hearts. The 230 feet known by Sierra Leoneans as country tree lost all of its branches on that Wednesday during a terrestrial rains and high winds with only the base of its anonymous trunk still standing the tree which was in the capital freedom was about or over 231 years old According to the residents of Freetown, they continue to pray beneath the tree, which in recent decades towered over a busy roundabout. I will show you or will tell you the various buildings or the various offices that surround or that used to surround this ancient and historic tree the central post office the national museum they were all parts of this surrounding according to this country president when he visited the site he said together we will preserve the legacy of unity freedom and liberty of our iconic country tree so many efforts have been put in place to clear the debris of the country tree this iconic tree is a symbol of our national heritage resilience and the enduring spirit of sierra leonean from its role in the founding of freetown to its status as a central cultural political gathering place the country tree stands as a living witness to the nation's history the country tree also play a pivotal role in sierra leone's political landscape it serves as a gathering place for all political rallies where leaders activists and citizens have come together under its sheltering branches to voice their concerns advocate for change and celebrate important milestones in the nation's democratic journey with so many arms on deck which includes the military the police the gentle group of coming who volunteers their machines and the office of national security the country tree area the surrounding of the country tree area the debris have all been removed clear and clean properly so many people want to thank all those that were involved not forgetting the ministry of tourism and cultural affairs the wood or majority parts of the wood have been preserved some at the region square municipal school and some at the city council building the old city council building that the place that they are currently preserving this tree this tree used to be an iconic landmark of freetown Many Freetonians will forever miss the street, including me. A place of gathering, a place of prayer. 
there are so many important buildings or offices that used to surround this tree some of them which includes the nasit building nasit simply means the national social insurance scheme national social security and insurance trust that's the exact meaning of nasit they are responsible for the social security of all workers this is their head office just next to the nasit building is the administrator building after the administrator building you have the national insurance company but direct opposite also of the tree used to be the national museum of sierra leone and going north of the tree is the <laughs> oau avenue you know that's where the state house the ministry of defense belong and this building that you are seeing is the locust building of sierra leone you know it holds the chambers of the chief justice of sierra leone just directly opposite to the locust building we have so many buildings also that are surrounding it the national petroleum headquarters the sky bank office the guma building and the salon commercial bank headquarters this building is in national petroleum that very tall building is the national insurance company of sierra leone headquarters and this street has been called walpo street so this area is a very busy area that building that you are seeing right at the back is the electricity house the headquarter of edsa that the people that are generating electricity in free town the iconic country tree will forever remain in the heart of retonians it will be ever remain in the history of Sierra Leone and in West Africa because this was the first point of call. This was the first point of the Tonys that left America and they returned back home. This was just an update of how things have unfolded. Once more, thanks to all those that were involved in removing the debris of this iconic tree. Thanks for watching. I am Mikey once more.